Hello everyone. Welcome to MMG. So we are going to discuss about RGHS exam, especially the anatomy, the study tips to get distinction in anatomy. As you know, there are two papers, anatomy paper one and paper two. The paper one distribution of topics, general anatomy, six mark, general histology, five mark, general embryology, eight mark, upper limb, around eighteen marks, thorax, including diaphragm, is twenty one, the head and neck area, twenty nine. neuroanatomy 13 marks so you must know distribution of topics and the weightage of marks to get good marks in exam so this is about the paper 1 the paper 1 the head and neck area carries highest mark that is 29 the next is the 21 that is thorax paper 2 distribution of marks or the weightage is systemic histology like example histology of urethra histology of prostate that's around 11 mark systemic embryology like example development of kidney development of liver development of uterus all that 11 mark genetics it's around 8 mark the lower limb 18 mark abdomen it's around 31 mark pelvis 21 so according to distribution of marks in paper 2 you need to prepare the selective chapters the first important study tip is you must know what are the important topics in each chapter like example general anatomy what are the important topics for that you can refer our question bank and the high yielding topics high yielding topics in the app so in that say example types of ossification classify bones explain the components of lung bones sesamoid bone epiphysis blood supply of lung bone what is metaphysis of growing bone give its importance so all these are important questions so you must prepare all these important questions like example upper limb what are the important topics like example clavicle that is very commonly asked topic brachial flexures axillary artery radial nerve median nerve so you must know all important topics in each chapter then mediastinum what are the important topics the recent question in cbmi define mediastinum mention the contents of posterior mediastinum posterior mediastinum describe the thoracic part of esophagus add a note on its anatomy all these are important topics lower limb the important topics so you must know important topics in each chapter and you need to prepare the answer for that you can go through the app there is a chapter wise chapter wise important topics are given to you you can just go through that that is the tip number 1 second sol cbme papers in the app so go through the previous cbme paper so there are eight papers are there You, you need to solve all eight papers 
thoroughly like example recently a question asked in the exam a person aged about 65 year came to hospital with a complaint of bleeding from the thick large ulcer on the side of the tongue which is present since one year not responding to antibiotics so he diagnosed with a carcinoma of tongue and explain the mode of spread of carcinoma tongue explain the presenting parts muscles nerve supply of the tongue so you must know so all cbme papers previous year question that is very very important like this one more recent question describe venous drainage of face add a note on dangerous area of face and the answer is given to you in the app the specific to the point answer is given to you and also there is a video on that you can go through that next write specific answers whenever question asked in the exam your answer should be very specific to get good marks in the exam like example compare and contrast spermatogenesis and oogenesis you need to write like this spermatogenesis and oogenesis and you need to compare and also you need to write specific answers so write specific answer not the vague answer to the point answer okay the fourth very important component is write line diagrams and the flow charts line diagram like example brachial flexures it's very commonly asked question brachial flexures is very very commonly asked question so you must know in and out of the brachial flexures in exam if you write a flow chart like this c5 c6 c7 c8 like this so this will give you 5 out of 5 okay 5 out of 5 or at least 4 out of 5 in the exam you need to do the proper line diagram and the flow chart like one more example here simple example so if you write brachial flexures so brachial flexures this diagram so okay roots trunks divisions cards branches next label diagram please remember in exam you need to write label diagram okay maybe a brachial flexures gall bladder liver you need to label it properly so that will give you more marks in the exam like example here the bile duct is a question asked you need to do the proper labeling next clinical correlations applied anatomy so clinical correlation applied anatomy they are very very important you need to write so at least one or two applied anatomical aspects for each question especially main questions and the short essays like example erup palsy erup palsy it's very very commonly asked question whenever question asked in the exam brachial flexures if you write erup palsy klumke palsy so that will give you more mark sixth clinical correlation then how to manage time in the exam so as you know there are 22 questions like here we can see here 3 hours 3 hours and there are 22 questions 22 question question number 21 and 22 they are basically mcqs they are mcqs okay how to manage time so how to manage time let me take different pen three marks and mcq you need to complete in 45 minutes 45 minutes you need to write to the point answer specific answer so 45 to 50 minutes you need to complete all three marks question and also all mcq there are 10 mcqs next short essays short essay there are eight short essay for each short essay you can take maximum of 9 to 10 minutes 
9 to 10 minutes. That means eight short essays in one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, last one hour that is for long essays. Two in number, one hour. So remember short essays and the short answers. The short answers, they are scoring. They are scoring actually. They are scoring. That's why you need to start with the three mark question. Then you can complete short essays. At last you can write long essays. So 45 minutes, one hour to 15 minutes, and one hour for the long essay. Okay, so this is how you can manage time in the exam. Next, neat handwriting. Neat handwriting like this here you can see here. So, okay, neat handwriting will give you good mark in the exam. Okay, so this is about the study tips to get distinction in anatomy. Once again, I'll repeat. Once again, I'll repeat all the, as we discussed, first you must know the distribution of topics. Second, you must know important topics in each chapter. Solve all CBME papers in the app. Go through that, revise it. At least one paper every day, at least one paper. There are eight papers are there. Then write specific answers in exam. Write line diagram and flow charts. Label diagram, clinical correlations. Then you need to manage time in the exam. You need to start with the three marks, then five mark, then the 10 mark. Lastly, need handwriting. So here are the some books. So anatomy Q, biochemistry Q and the physiology Q. So here, so all salt papers along with the mnemonics animations are given to you. You can revise. Wish you all the best for upcoming exam. Thank you.